Well, let's put it this way. They are exotics. They are dangerous animals. Sixty-two-year-old truck driver Bonnie Hart keeps two grizzly bears and a white tiger in her back garden. With a combined weight of over 600 pounds, Pebbles and Bam Bam have lived with Bonnie since they were cubs. And if that wasn't enough, six-year-old white Bengal tiger Anushka lives in the pen next door. These bears have been around a lot of people. They don't know tricks. They don't know um, to sit, lay down, stand up on a box, but you can get in there and you can love on them and you can pet them and uh, I've socialized them a lot. Me and Nushka are, you know, I'm mama and she's baby and I mean, I can hand feed her, I can pet her, I can do whatever I want with her. Anushka was given to Bonnie as a gift when she was just a cub, but surprisingly, it was her dog that one day brought the two bears into her home. And I'm sitting on the porch drinking coffee one morning and I look out there by the pond and here comes my black dog just a trotting, little trot going across and right behind them's two little black things following them and I thought they were other dogs. And as they got closer, I went, holy moly, they're bears. <laughs> Looking after these animals is an expensive business. You're looking at probably $1,000, $1,500 more a month just to feed these animals. I feed her probably between 14 and 20 pounds a day, and she eats beef, pork, chicken, stuff like that. There you go. There you go. Give one each. There you go. Feed a bear. Come on, girl. These bears, I've tried, <laughs> I've tried fish, I've tried salmon. They don't want it. They want their berries, their watermelons, their cantaloupes, the candy. They love cookies, marshmallows. They love anything that's sweet, and they will and almost mug you for honey. Oh, you're such a good boy. Oh, good boy. <laughs> Despite her close relationship with the animals, Bonnie has always been aware of just how dangerous they could be. I have tranquilizer guns so we can tranquilize them if we have to. Nobody's going to get hurt not unless you just climb into the pen and be stupid. Pebbles can get a little cantankerous at times and um, she slapped me with her claws and has bit at me well, a couple of times but nothing like attacked me. I have the taser. I only have that if I'm out here by myself and I can't get help. Bonnie also lets her grandchildren interact with them. <laughs> I think it's a little bit crazy that she likes having tigers and bears. I think it's really cool. I mean, it's definitely a different experience. Bears are my favorite animal, like, overall. <laughs> it was <laughs> in my shoes. I don't go in the tiger pen because, you know, it's a tiger. Bonnie regularly has people over to see her animals. My neighbors, they love it. They bring their families over. But if someone tried to take them away, it would be a very different story. I would shoot them. Point blank. <laughs> Point blank. Come on my property and try to take my animals. I don't care if it's tigers, bears, horses, or dogs. Somebody's going to get shot. There isn't one out here that I don't care for. It has changed me. I mean, I've been doing this since I was a little girl. It makes you have responsibility. It makes you realize that life is precious and um, you should enjoy every moment of it.